you guys what I do to keep her hair from falling in her face, okay? So essentially, you want to tether this to a little bit of hair behind it, okay? This is kind of what Shih Tzu people do. And it just kind of helps to hold it back, okay? So that's what I do for that. And then, <laughs> sorry you guys, I had no idea that it was playing my audiobook. Well, maybe you guys learned about the human brain a little bit. That's what I was listening to. Okay, so anyways, I've got a bow here. These bows are quite heavy. These weren't made by me, but I'm just going to put this in her hair just to show you. Okay, now, if your dog is four pounds, you should probably be using a three-eighths inch bow, or one-half inch bow up to a five-eighths inch bow. If they're... Maybelline size, which she's a good eight, eight, eight pounds, then I use a probably a seven eighths inch bow. Okay, so um, what else can I answer for you guys? So, this is my um, leash to help prevent trachea damage. Uh, Maybelline actually has damage to her trachea, and so this does not go across their throat. A lot of times, groomers will put a noose around their neck. And as the dog is, uh, you know, pulling down, it does damage. So you can purchase those at Maltese Groom. And what else did I want to talk to? So I went and had her teeth cleaned. And unfortunately, she had a lot of teeth pulled. And so when they go in there to clean the teeth, they irritated her trachea. So now her trachea is even worse. But... um. So let's trim the corners of her eyes real quick. I see it's growing in pretty quick. Uh, what I use for that is some curved, just some curved scissors. And you can uh, go to multishopping.com. Uh, multi and um, I'll type that in here for you guys. And that will help you to see my recommended products. Maltese, oh my gosh, it's hard to type on here. Oh no. Shopping. Com. There you go. So, hmm, yeah. So, uh, Holly or Lisa's asking. Holly had a barrette. It's missing in action for four days. Can't seem to find find it. Um, I would say if she ate the bow, she would be really uncomfortable, and you would know it. Um, I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere, but if you're really worried, you could go to your vet and see, have an x-ray done. That's the problem with leaving bows and stuff in their hair unattended, is if they eat it, you have to be careful, because they can get blockage from something like that. So, she would have passed it by now. She would have passed it. So I don't typically leave, if she is messing with her, her bow um, a lot, I'll, I'll take it out. You know, I typically, because she can feel this in her hair, so if she's digging at it a lot, I take it out. But it's still fun to put in, right? So, uh, people usually ask, you know, where can you get these products? The two places that you need to go to buy products that I recommend is MalteseTearStain.com which is always bright eyes. This is their conditioner. I use their shampoo, their conditioner, and I use their spray. This spray detangles, prevents matting, and it also cuts down static. So if you have a lot of static right now on your dog, this will help, okay? This is the brush that I recommend. If you go to multishopping.com, you can pick this up. Sabor bristle brush. I use it on the face and the head. It's very gentle. It's a boar bristle brush. And this is the all systems brush that I recommend. 
Um, it's just a regular pin brush. It's not my favorite. I prefer to have a pin brush that um, the pins are very durable and they don't push in. Um, what else? Oh, um, someone was asking me what shears I use. Um, these are Jason scissors, uh, Jason uh, grooming shears. And I will tell you, they are extremely sharp. When I was grooming live the other day, I cut myself. So, yeah, you have to be really careful. So I use these shears, and then I also use the blending shears, and I'm not sure. Let's see? So I use these, okay, for trimming the feet, the bottom of the coat, and then I use blending shears mostly on Leo. Leo is my poodle cross with terrier, and I use these for blending, but I do use these for the sides of the face. So when I'm trimming this area around here, this part is shaved on the sides of her cheeks right here, but then when I blend this part right here, it just takes a little bit off for blending, okay? And I can use this for everything else. Now I'm gonna trim the corners of her eyes real quick. Again, these you can get at multishopping.com. Just gonna take a little bit off on the corners of the eyes. Now, if you have a lot of tear stain, which she did because her teeth were real bad, um, if your dog has plaque buildup, inflammation of the gums, it will cause tear stain. It's one of the things that can cause it. If their teeth are perfectly healthy, then it can be genetic, it can be from their food. Um, Maybelline eats a holistic food. There's no additives or preservatives, okay? So um, that's the deal there. Um, what else do you guys wanna know? And then for tear staining, this is what I use for tear staining. This is always bright eyes. It comes in a set. You get this, this, and you get this, and you get an applicator brush, which I'm not sure where it is right now. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. So um, that's the deal there. I'm going to brush her teeth real quick because I brush her teeth once a week when I give her a bath. Uh, so what do I use for... I got my toothbrush. This is part of our dental kit. Um, Claire is asking what food she eats. She eats uh, Life's Abundance. You can... Um, message me for the details, but basically Life's Abundance is a holistic food that's made in the United States. No additives, preservatives. It's all human-grade ingredients. Okay? All right, so I'm going to brush your teeth. I put on about a pea-size amount. And you might want to do this before, um, before you give them a bath because, honestly, now it's going to get all over her mustache but I'm just gonna do a little bit of teeth brushing. She's still got her canines left. I'm gonna go to the back. They typically really like it. Just let the toothbrush go in the cheek and let them chew and lick it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the other side. I kinda work it into her cheek so I can do the back tooth. Let them lick, let them chew on the toothbrush. It's okay. They really like it because it tastes like chicken. Okay. So now I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna brush these bottom ones. I try to lift her cheek out of the way. Let them lick, it's okay. Okay. Like I said, they really like that toothpaste because it tastes like chicken. a little break and um, I do add water additive to her water so that um, it prevents bad breath and plaque okay you want to wash this out when you're done so that's done and um, what else are we asking here oh yeah so uh, Daniela I would recommend you get Always Bright Eyes products. They're very moisturizing. And use a leave-in conditioner like this. Um, the other thing is dry skin can come from, uh, they need fatty acid in their diet. So her dog food, part of the reason her hair is so silky and healthy is because 
her food actually has um, EFAs in it, essential fatty acids. So they put it right in the food so that they're not so itchy and dry. Okay? So in answer to your question, that would help a lot. So go to MalteseTearStain.com and purchase the grooming kit and then um, go to Life's Abundance backslash Majesty to order um, a food that has, you know, the ingredients that you need for a healthy skin and coat. They actually have a supplement for a skin and coat too as well. So she's licking because she loves that um, toothpaste. Okay, does anybody else have any questions? So that's basically it, you guys. I think I've told you all the products that I use today. Um, we sell the bands, and these are at multishopping.com. And even, even this stuff is on uh, at multishopping.com, the recommended. But um, if you guys, I'm, I keep intending to put a sheet together for you guys with recommended products. So, and then these are the last two things I was using. Other than that, my favorite, favorite, favorite Maltese tool, can I tell you guys, is this. This is an all system dematting brush. Uh, this, honestly, is my favorite, favorite tool, okay? I, I can take a coat that is completely matted and demat it. Now, when I started grooming her this morning, she had mats from licking her coat everywhere, on her legs, she had it on her back tail. She hops up and down in her playpen, so she gets matted. Her bed makes her get matted. So I can get any kind of mat out with this. You guys, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool, okay? It is what, worth its weight in gold, okay? And then um, obviously, you know, a good quality grooming product is essential. And uh, of course, diet, okay? So let's see, Claire is saying, my dog gets so itchy and scratches under her arms, I need products to try to help her. Okay, like I said, if you put them on a very high quality food, and then on top of that, you wanna make sure that you're using a very high quality grooming product, because, you know, grooming products, dogs have different, you know, pH balance than us, um, and different things like that. So make sure that um, you're using that, okay? So I will post the link here in a minute. It's very hard to type on my phone. So she likes that I'm scratching her back. Yeah, he's a good girl. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please, I know I was blow drying the first 20, 30 minutes, but if it helped you, please um, share it. Share it with friends, tag your friends below. And uh, Help sh Do you hear that? That's a collapsed trachea. And um, honestly, that's why I started making these leashes, you guys. Um, they are life-changing. You can not only use this here on the grooming table, you can use it in the sink. It does not mold and it's stretchy. So it's useful in the sink too. Uh, if you have a dog that keeps trying to jump out of the sink, does not want to be groomed, then that really helps. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Merry Christmas to you guys, you and your loved ones. I hope you have a safe one and you're with family and friends celebrating our Savior. So um, God bless you guys. We're sending you love and hugs. Yeah, hugs. I know, six foot distance. Sending love to all you guys. So I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. Feel free to message me if you have questions about any of these products. I will respond right away to you. And thank you so much for your support and love this year. Take care, guys. Bye.